in our classes so far we had seen how to create a structured process that is we had seen how we created this process how we created the web form and how we integrate the applications with oracle integration or how we can call the rest apis with the help of connectors we can define the types over here as well as the roles we had seen how we can assign the users to the role and add those roles to the swim lane in the process that is in the structural process and as part of human action we can assign the task to that particular role using the swim lane now the thing if you see over here there is this decision so we have an option to create local decision and external decision so before diving deep into learning the decision let's learn what is decision decisions are nothing but also called as decision models in oracle process automation these are used to calculate the decision on based on the input like suppose if you apply for loan application and if your credit score is below the limit in that case your application should be rejected and if your score that is credit score is above a certain limit then it should be approved so this limit will change over the period of time so these kind of decisions we will put in the decision model but your process that is the loan application or credit card application will be over here suppose if today the credit score should be 500 then we put that condition over here in the decision but we won't change our structured process over the period of time only that condition as per the government rules or local regulations we can modify in the decision apart from the credit score if you want to have a generic application for credit application that is for the credit card application that is for every country then apart from the credit score we can take the condition based on the credit score along with that with the country code suppose for india if the credit score is 750 then we will approve the credit card application and for united states then if the credit score is above 400 then we will be going to go ahead with the loan application else we will straight away reject the application it is saying create a local decision and the external decision so local decision is nothing but this decision will be hosted within the current application so for the layman terminology you can consider decisions as nothing but if then condition as of now so it is more than if then else condition but as of now for simplicity purpose just consider that it is a if then else condition if you go for local decision it will be hosted within your application suppose if you click on this navigation menu over here apart from process if you click on process you will get a list of all the process applications in your instance suppose if you click on decision here you will get all the decisions which you have created as an external decision so this won't be tied up to a particular application and it will be hosted right into your oracle process automation instance as a standalone so you can activate deactivate version so and so forth thing those decision models suppose if you create the local decision that is within the process application then that will be hosted within your application suppose you activate your process application then your decision will also be activated and it will be used only within your process application that is if you are having one to n number of processes then they can make use of the local decision if you create external decision apart from the processes in this process application other processes in other applications can also make use of it. so it is completely a business decision or your client requirement where you want to create this decision whether as local or external for more details on knowing the differences and similarities between local decision and external decision you can have a quick look on using oracle infrastructure process automation documentation page by oracle as i told at high level the differences it is mentioned over here by oracle in the tabular version you can have a quick look on the same now coming to the decision model programming language what it support is two things one is a dmn that is decision modeling and notation another is a field that is to write the condition it is also known as friendly enough expression language so we will dive deep into these decision concepts and learn how to make use of these field expressions in our coming classes also you can have a look at the other topics over here if you are stuck somewhere while practicing any of the classes so we will try to cover most of the things over here in the introduction course what we are covering right now so you can have a look at this understand the graph view in order to get familiar with the icons what you will be seeing in the create decision designer how to add the decision so and so forth things as of now we can think decision as if then else 
which is one of the decision logics available in the decisions in OPA at the time of recording this class. Apart from if then else, there are other types of decision logics as well available. So we'll learn one by one all of those.